Hey YouTubers, this is MB Cash back with a brand new video. Once again, I'm doing a another Phantom of the Opera themed review. Uh, if you remember last week's video on the Telco Phantom of the Opera motionette, I stated that for the month of October, I'm going to be dedicating it to the Phantom of the Opera with different items from my Phantom collection. So today I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys something really special and something that's uh, pretty dear to me. It's my prized Phantom of the Opera mask collection. Now, as you can see here, I own several Phantom masks and they're all in the style of the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. And basically I've collected these masks, you know, for over a decade of, you know, I've gotten these masks at different in different places and I've just collected them over time. So what I've decided to do is just go over each mask individually, you know, just talk about things I like, things I don't like and where I got them and where you can find them. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and uh, begin with the um, common masks. Um, these are going to be, um, I'm going to start with masks that are non-licensed. So these are just generic phantom masks that you can, you know, pick up at, you know, your local Halloween stores, party stores, or pretty much online such as Amazon or eBay and such and such. So to start, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this one right here. So this is one that is, this is probably the most common phantom mask out there in the market. Uh, this one pops up a lot. Um, I bought this 11 years ago at my local uh, party shop in um, downtown. So uh, this one is the one that has a, it comes in a little plastic package and it just says masquerade. That's M-A-S-K-A-R-A-D-E. Little play on words there, masquerade. So this is a very common uh, this is a very common phantom mask and this is actually one of my favorites only because of the sentimental value because again this was my very first phantom of the opera mask that I ever purchased and I actually own another one just like this I own a second one that I've worn for several on several occasions uh, this one is just the display only but. The other one, just like it, I've worn it on several occasions, such as um, back in 2009, I wore it at a masquerade-themed uh, party. Um, I wore it that same year, Halloween. Uh, I dressed up as the Phantom of the Opera for Halloween 2009. Uh, I also wore it uh, at a best or an old friend's birthday party, which was also masquerade-themed. So because of the sentimental value, I, I like this one a lot and it uh, reminds me a little bit of the original Michael Crawford mask from the 1986 version, from the which was the very first production of the Andrew Lloyd Webber musical. So it's pretty nice. I like, the, I like the sculpt. I love the detail of it. You can see it's really nicely done. This camera is not focusing. Uh, focus. Okay, there you go. You can see there's really nice uh, detail going on in this mask. Uh, you got some, you got the cheeks right here. It's got the hollow cheeks. And what I like about this one is it actually has a properly shaped nostril, which is which opposed as opposed to the uh, other masks out there, which just have little small uh, circles for the nostrils. So I like this. This is really nice. Moving on, let's go with, um, let's see, let's go with this one. Okay, so this is a cheaper, flimsier plastic. Uh, this one I bought uh, last year at a Halloween city, which is basically a party city, but just Halloween stuff. Uh, you can find these at Party City as well. Um it's a much more thinner plastic. You can see it's it can bend pretty easily. Um, this one is about three ninety nine. 
And uh, one thing that I don't like is the shape of the shape of the eye. Uh, I, I don't know why. I just don't really like that shape. Um, and like I said, uh, with when I was talking about the other mask I just did, where that one had that one has uh, nostrils that are shaped like actual nostrils. This one has just two small circles. So I don't really like it when they do that. Now I actually bought another one of these masks that I actually modified and I'll bring it right here. So this is actually the same mask as this one. Let me move this to the side right here. So this is what this used to look like. I w it went from this to this. Way basically what I did was I trimmed it first of all. So you can see the shape is a little different. Um I also trimmed the eyes. So the eye hole is a little bigger and much more better shaped than this. And then I also made the nostrils look more natural. So I gave them natural shaped nostrils. Um, and then I also painted it. Uh, I painted it in a satin ivory just so it gives it a little bit of, um, you know, instead of just being plain white, I wanted a little bit more flavor to it. So maybe like a cream color. So this is actually the mask now that I currently wear because with, with this guy, uh, I've recently retired because, you know, just because of the sentimental uh, value of it. So now this is my new mask, but this is only temporarily because eventually I like to get a, a stage replica, an actual replica of the stage version. But overall, I mean, well, you know, comparing this to this, this is a much more better mask than what this is. So, I mean, I guess if you had no other options and go with this, so let's move on. Let's see. Let's go with this one. This is my least favorite of the collection. I bought this at Spirit Halloween a few weeks ago. And it's made of plastic. But one thing that's unique about this one is... Focus. Okay, there we go. You can see that it's covered in a white cloth fabric material so i mean it's kind of cool i guess but uh this mask is really small it's very small for my head and it doesn't really have a lot of coverage so you know this is definitely not something i would recommend um if you were going to cosplay as the phantom so you know there are a lot of other options out there um so I just bought this just for the sake of my collection, but other than that, I really don't like it. And then, let's see. This one is uh, a new edition I just recently bought um, about a week ago. I bought this at a Joanne Fabrics. Uh, this is actually a craft mask, but it is in the shape and style of the Phantom of the Opera mask. Uh, basically, with these kind of masks, you can decorate them, paint them, add feathers, you know, for Mardi Gras, whatever you want to do with them. But obviously, I'm just leaving it alone, but um, it's so right. Um, the nose is pretty small. It's not exactly a whole... Um, it's not exactly all that special, to be honest. I mean, it's, again, mainly for decorational use um probably for for kids so yeah i'm not really too crazy about this one either and this one i purchased off of amazon this is another uh common one that's kind of popular uh only problem with this one is it's pretty big for my head um but i really like the sculpt and the features of this mask it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the gerard butler mask from the 2004 movie which i really like so you know I, and i like the also addition of you know 
this little um I don't, I don't know what the I don't know what the word is, but I like the trim here. Let me so I can focus in. My camera doesn't want to focus, but there we go. Yeah, this is actually kind of a beautiful uh, touch to it. Um, there's actually uh, two versions of this mask. Um, this is one of them. This is just the mask on its own, and you can see it's actually got a it's it's got an adjustable uh, headband. This is, so instead of having just a, a string uh, like all the other ones, this one's um, set on a headband that you just place over your head. Now there's another one like this, but it has a hat that's attached. Um, don't really like that one. I just wanted just the mask by itself. So obviously I didn't go for the hat version. And to be honest, I don't really intend on buying that one. This is good enough for me. Um, uh, yeah, it's a nice mask, but again, it's a, too big for my head, but you know, I didn't really buy it with the intention of wearing it. I, I just bought it for decoration and display for my collection. So now let's, gonna, now let's get on to licensed masks. So these are masks that are officially licensed by the really useful group, which is Andrew Lloyd Webber's uh, company. Um, so let's start off with this one. Uh, this is a common... This is a common mask that you'll find in Halloween online stores such as, you know, Halloween Express or you can find them on, I bet you can find them on Amazon or eBay as well. This one's made by Rubies and it is a, well, an officially licensed Phantom of the Opera mask. If you can, let's see, I'll turn it around here and yeah, okay, you can see that copyright Rubies Costume Inc, uh, Phantom of the Opera mask and... The production date for this one was 2009, which is the year I bought this one. I bought this at a uh, party city. Um, not exactly one of my favorites. Uh, this is another mask that I would put in the list of my least favorite masks. So um, it's kind of small, especially on the side, and don't really like the shape of it. So, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is a common one that, you know, you might see from time to time. So, there's that mask. And then, uh, this one is really cool. Um, this one right here. I like this mask a lot. This, I actually bought when I saw the show in Las Vegas a few years ago. Um, it was playing the Venetian. And it had been playing there in Las Vegas for... Quite a long time. Uh, I got to see it during its last uh, one of its last months um, before the show finally closed, and I got this at the souvenir shop. And I like this mask a lot. It's pretty big. It's definitely got the Michael Crawford look. My only complaint is just the the eye hole. Uh, I really wish they could have just cut out the entire eye. And you can see it's got a really really small um, hole, one hole for the nostril. Um, but I don't know. It, this is a really beautiful mask. I This is one of my favorites. I just like it a lot, especially due to the fact that I got this when I saw the show. I mean, watching the show itself was a dream come true. Uh, you know, before, before seeing it in person, I'd only watched the 2004 movie with Gerard Butler and Emmy Rossum and Patrick Wilson but I'd always wanted to see the stage version because, you know, just I've heard so many great things about it. It's like one of the greatest musicals ever. So I finally got that opportunity in 2012 in Las Vegas. So this was my big uh, take home from that night. So I like this one a lot, but it's not a, it's not my favorite because instead that goes to this guy right here. Last but not least. This one is the Gerard Butler mask from the 2004 movie of based on the musical. Uh, this one's made by Ruby's Costume. So this is another Ruby's um, mask. I like this one a lot. Now, I really am not a big fan of Gerard Butler's Phantom. Um, he definitely does not have... A good singing voice. Uh, I think 
they should have gotten someone better, someone who's actually a trained musician and singer to play the Phantom. However, some things that I did like about Gerard Butler's Phantom, um, at least this when he was not singing, uh, when his speaking voice I liked is you know he's got a nice deep voice. But I also liked his costume, and the mask was definitely something that I thought was really cool about the movie version of the costume. And I really like the mask. Uh, one thing I really um, love about it is the expression. It's got a more meaner look. You can see it's got the meaner eyebrow, and just it's there's a lot of expression to this one. Uh, I really like this mask. Uh, I bought this online from, I think they're no longer in business, but it was, I believe it was called Phantom Collections, um, something like that. Uh, it was basically um, a Phantom art store. Um, they sold uh, these really beautiful paintings based off of the movie. And they were carrying the mask for a while, but then they uh, stopped selling them. And one day, I, I just happened to email, I sent an email out to to them and asked if they still had any of the masks. And they said, yeah, they um, still carried a few. And one of the cool things about this one is I just happened to get it in the mail on the day of my birthday. So in a way, it was a birthday gift to me. So... Uh, it's really, it's really cool. It's definitely one of my, it's definitely my favorite of all the Phantom Masks I have in this collection. So that's my Phantom Masks. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those, uh, these masks are just, you know, I've just got a lot of them, but it's one of those like, uh, odd things that I like to collect. Um, I do hope to be adding some more to the future. Um, you know, if you guys know of any other uh, Phantom Masks that I should be aware of, that I should consider picking up, uh, let me know in the comments below. And that's it. That's So that's the that's my review of my Phantom Mask collection. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, please uh, feel free to comment below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, favorite, and stay tuned for next week for another Phantom-themed video. Until next time, God bless.